Welcome to another video, it's good to see you again. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time viewing one of our videos, please do hit the subscribe buttons as we post regularly on all things to do with music. Now today we are talking about my five top riffs in music. Now before I start, I already know people are going to disagree with what I think are my top five riffs. And I should probably say these aren't necessarily the top five riffs of all time, but they are the top five riffs that I enjoy playing. Perhaps you agree, perhaps you don't. Either way, let me know in the comments below. And if you agree with any of the ones that I have put in this video today. So let's get straight into it. Number one. <laughs> In case you didn't already recognize that, this is Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, which is obviously played by probably one of the most famous guitarists ever, Eric Clapton himself. What I like about this riff is particularly the first half of the riff is played in different octaves. So it starts off in that lower octave and then after a couple of times of that, we've got this second guitar joining in, doing the same thing for that first part, but a couple of octaves higher. As well as doing the same thing for the first half of the riff, the second half of the riff, they differ, adding lots of texture, lots of layers to this riff. And it's a fun riff to play. It's a classic song. It's instantly recognizable. And who can forget the acoustic unplugged version that Eric Clapton did some years later. What's nice about this riff is it is straightforward to play as well. It's not too difficult. Um, but it sounds very effective. We've got those nice low end tones and then up into those screaming highs for those big bends, which is really good fun to play. Moving on to number two and perhaps a controversial one, but I've put in, I believe in a thing called love by the darkness. <laughs> Yes, it's a bit novelty. Yes, it's a bit cheesy, but the riff itself is actually really good. And the guitar solos in this song are really fun to play and actually fairly complex as well. They're not just straightforward solos here. So we have to respect the musicianship that goes into this. Again, it's a crowd pleaser. You play this one at the end of the night, everyone's up having a good time, screaming out those high notes in the chorus. Who doesn't enjoy that? This one's very different in the way it's put together than Layla. This time we're using a lot of power chords uh, to build a bit more of a, a chord riff going through this, but a very powerful riff. Again, you can play this with one guitarist, as I often do in bands, and it still sounds very effective. There's not missing a second guitarist really for this. There's plenty of sound during that riff. Moving on to number three. <laughs> band we're moving to Led Zeppelin this time and from them I have chosen Black Dog which is such a fun riff to play it keeps continually moving as well we have that main riff which repeats through the first part of the verse and then the way it moves into this similar theme but a different riff is brilliant and it sounds fantastic Again, probably recognises one of the greatest rock guitarists, Jimmy Page here, really showing off his skill. And it's nice how the guitar and the bass follow each other through this riff. What's nice about this one is it's not simple, straightforward riff or note timing. It's actually quite complex note timing moving through and it's continually moving, which is makes it interesting to play, but does make it a little bit more difficult than something like the classic Seven Nation Army. Who can deny Led Zeppelin is one of the greatest rock bands of all time? and their guitar player, fantastic. Next for number four, I am moving on to probably the biggest band of all time, The Beatles. And from The Beatles, I have chosen Come Together. <laughs>
fantastic song. Again, another crowd pleaser when you're playing in venues. Everyone will recognize it. Everyone will sing along to it. And this time it's a fairly simple riff as well. It's quite nice. Based around the D minor and D minor seventh chord. This riff is just running through the notes really, but the way it does it is really good. The slide up from the bass is really nice. On a side point, that last note of the riff stops half a beat before the end of the bar. And I only recently noticed that and I've been playing this song for a long time. Just something I thought I'd share with you. But who can deny the Beatles, an amazing band, an amazing song from an amazing band. I suppose that's it when it comes to that. And finally, we're looking at the fifth riff I have picked today. And probably my favorite riff out of these ones I've chosen today. I have picked Parisian Walkways by Gary Moore. <laughs> Legendary blues guitarist, obviously originally legendary rock guitarist for Thin Lizzy, but when he went into the blues, he really changed the mold for blues rock playing. This is an extremely elegant riff. I love those big bends, the way he holds those notes, and just this melody is such a beautiful expression of the blues music, and it just lingers in your head. It's extremely fun to play and not too complex. It's all about the style with this one, all about the note timing to really make it sing, really make it ring out. Fantastic riff, probably my favorite one of the five. Now, like I say, I know you won't agree necessarily with everything I've said. You may not even agree with any of the riffs that I have picked today, but these are my five top riffs that I really enjoy playing. So if you disagree, let me know below. If you agree, let me know below. But either way, hit the subscribe button to help out our channel so we can keep creating more content. I'm Stephen from the Murphy School of Music. Keep up the practice and we'll see you soon. Music